Square Station. The 44-year-old victim allegedly got into a fight with another man on the subway platform. That's when police say the suspect took out a sharp object and stabbed the victim in the neck. He's hospitalized in stable condition. To other news on this Thursday night, we're known as the city that never sleeps. Well, lately it's due to noise pollution from ATVs and other vehicles that interrupts New Yorkers in search of peace and quiet. Tonight, the NYPD cracking down and offering an incentive for those who rat bikers out. Angie Gonzalez is live for us tonight in Washington Heights with more on this new initiative. Angie. Yeah, that's right, Cheryl. The NYPD acknowledges that this is not just an issue that they're experiencing this year. They say it's something that's been happening for the last 10 years consistently. And while we've asked them repeatedly on occasions when we've been covering this issue in other neighborhoods about a specific plan that they had to address this issue, well, they didn't have one until now. And it involves those of you watching right now. The New York City Police Department is launching a new initiative in the fight to get ATVs and dirt bikes off city streets. And its success relies on public participation. So hopefully people can understand their assistance could be extremely helpful, but you'll be compensated at the same time. The NYPD wants New Yorkers to help them locate where riders are storing these illegal vehicles. In return, tipsters who can remain anonymous will get up to $100 for every ATV or dirt bike seized. And that's not all. Enforcement will include confiscating these vehicles where they are in public housing complexes. If it's parked in the street, then now the, the, the dirt bike is illegally parked. It's a legal bike and we can confiscate it. The NYPD launched their multi-layered approach from outside the 33rd precinct in Washington Heights. The precinct's commanding officer says he hears complaints about ATVs and dirt bikes day and night. I get text messages at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Some elected officials have reached out to police as well. The Manhattan Borough president penned this letter offering community suggestions for how to address the problem. NYPD Chief of Patrol Rodney Harrison says complaints come from all five boroughs and go beyond people who are just upset about the noise. This is what we see. Illegal motorcycle operators driving recklessly, ignoring traffic signals, blocking traffic, driving on sidewalks and racing up and down New York City streets, causing danger to New Yorkers. New York One captured this video of about a dozen riders cruising 181st Street near St. Nicholas Avenue Thursday evening. Some were without helmets, others running red lights and popping wheelies. In Queens, this ATV took over a bike lane on Wednesday. But this kind of behavior doesn't bother everyone. I mean, all the kids want to have fun. It's summertime. They should, the kids should be able to have fun. And some of those who do think it's a problem seem skeptical about the NYP's new approach. Specifically, their plan to offer a reward for tips that lead to a seizure. I don't know how I feel about turning anyone in for it. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think that that is necessary. I think it's, you know... Just a little too much. But Cheryl, I do know plenty of other people in other neighborhoods who say that they would have no problem reporting those tips to police. Those who do want to report a tip can call the Crime Stoppers hotline at 1-800-577-8477. Cheryl? Angie Gonzalez reporting live in Washington Heights tonight. Switching gears now to the Weather Center. We're on